YouTube, what is going on? This is That NBA Guy Josh. Today's February 6, 2016. And the topic we're going to be going over right now is Kevin Durant. Is he going to be leaving the Oklahoma City Thunder? Is he going to be going to another contender? Or what are his plans for this coming offseason? So let's get right into it. Obviously, it's been a topic of discussion for about the last two seasons. You know, it hasn't been as crazy as when LeBron was going to be a free agent, but Kevin Durant is still a top five player in the NBA. And you can make a very good case he's a top two player in the NBA right behind LeBron. But the, the, it's, it's right up there with, with how LeBron's free agency went and everything like that. So, you know, it's, it's been a topic of discussion for at least two years. And right now it is heating up big time because we are approaching the NBA trade deadline, which means that if the Oklahoma City Thunder are given any indication that he will leave, they're going to see what they can do in a sign and trade and ship him elsewhere and get at least something in return. You know, you don't want to be like Cleveland when they lost LeBron. They got absolutely nothing in return. So, you know, it stings a lot, I'm sure, for them. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm sure Oklahoma City does not want to feel that pain because I'm sure it would be very painful to lose a top two NBA player and get absolutely nothing in return for him. Okay, so, you know, I'm not sure. I, I don't think they're going to do a sign and trade because I think he really is going to go back to Oklahoma City. But at the end of the day, there's a very good chance that he leaves as well. Not as big, but it's probably like a 60-40. You know, that's probably the realistic thing. I personally just don't think he'll leave. But there's there's a very good chance because that's just my opinion. That's not close to fact. Okay? So let's talk about some teams that he possibly could be going to or has been rumored. Number one, okay, has always been the Washington Wizards. Okay? He's from ba uh, He's not from Baltimore. He's from uh, the D.C. area. Um, I believe he's from Rockville, Maryland. I have some family. My uncle lives there. Beautiful place. I'm pretty sure that's where he's from. So he's just outside the D.C. area, and you know he, that's that's where he's from. He wants to go back home. It's not really home, but it's just like LeBron. LeBron's not from Cleveland. He's from Akron, 40 miles away. Pretty sure Rockville is a lot closer to D.C. than 40 miles. So that would actually make it more of a home than for LeBron. So you know he wants to go back home. And, uh, you know, no one can blame him for it. The problem is Washington, you know, they have John Wall, who's one of the top five point guards in the NBA. You can make a case that he's the best one. It's not my opinion, but you can make a case for it. They also have Bradley Beal. The thing is, I feel like Bradley Beal has been on the decline. You know, last season, and especially the season before that, when everyone started to get to know him, he was a, a budding NBA superstar, and now you really never hear about him. You know, like, you know, you hear about John Wall, you don't really hear about Bradley Beal anymore. And they used to be regarded as the, one of the best backcourts in the league, you know, compared right up there with uh, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry. So, you know, I, I, I don't see why he would leave OKC to go there, okay? Um, another team that we're going to go over, number two, is going to be the New York Knicks. Now he's been rumored, okay, to you know have a you know a, a, a desire to play at the Garden. He said he loves the Garden. Okay, the last time that OKC played the Knicks, he called Porzingis a unicorn. Said that he's one of the you know you just don't find guys that tall with that range and, and everything that Porzingis brings to the table. So you know. There's a connection there. Also, he's good friends with Carmelo Anthony. It's been publicly known that when they played on the Olympics together, KD always looked up to LeBron, but he mostly looked up to uh, Melo. Okay, so he's good friends with Melo. He wants to play at the Garden. He thinks Porzingis uh, is a unicorn. And obviously, you know, KD's just 27 years old. So, you know, Porzingis is going to be there for a long time, and KD can be there for at least seven, you know, seven or eight years more, at least like four in his prime, you know. So I'd say, I'd say the Knicks have a shot. Another team, Miami Heat. You know, Pat Riley has you know a very good track record when it comes to bringing premier players down to South Beach. Okay, he did it with LeBron. He did it with multiple other free agents. Okay. If he went to Miami, the thing is, Dwayne Wade is on the tail end of his career. He's going to be out of the league in the next probably three years, I would say. Okay? 
So, you know, the fact of the matter is, um, I, I just don't think that they have the pieces. I mean, they have, um, you know, Justice Winslow, they have Hassan Whiteside, but those, I, I do not think will ever be superstars in the NBA. Right now, KD already has Westbrook, right? And Westbrook is just as young as he is, okay? So, you know, it, he's, and also he's a, he's a superstar. You can make a case that Westbrook is a top five player in the league, okay? Miami doesn't have anyone like that, okay? So why would you leave one superstar to go to a team with none? A bunch of good players, but no superstars. I just don't think that he would do that. Um, so the last team I'm going to go over is Golden State. Now, Golden State makes sense, okay? For him to go to Golden State, they already have a winning product. They already have one of the best teams in league history, okay? They could break the 72-10-96 Chicago Bull record. But at the end of the day, who do you have to take off the team? Because they can't sign him to the contract that he's going to be demanding. They cannot do it. They're already tapped out, okay? So I remember... Last week, I was talking to one of my friends about Golden State and KD going there, and the entire conversation, we just kept saying the same thing. Both of us agreed on it. You ship Klay Thompson out in a sign-and-trade this season to get KD, you ship Klay Thompson out, and you include a first-round draft pick, and you will get Kevin Durant. If OKC knows that KD wants to leave and they can get a player like Klay Thompson back in return, the alternative is they get nothing in return. Right, so you get Clay Thompson and hope that you know he's more of a superstar than James Harden was before James Harden left OKC. Okay, and look what Harden turned into. Okay, and none of us thought that was going to happen. So if you take Clay Thompson and give him his own team, what could he turn into? That's something the OKC might want to ponder. So if he was on Golden State, though, I mean they just would just keep on rolling. I mean, they would absolutely slaughter it if Steph Curry and, and Kevin Durant played together. They would absolutely slaughter it. Not to mention Draymond Green is becoming one of the best players in the NBA. Um, you know, you still got Iguodala, okay? You, you still got Bogut in the middle, okay? And and you just, you know, you got Festus Azili, who's just continuing to improve. I mean, he's going to take over that center position from Bogut. Any, 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 I, I think it could be any day now, you know, if they were smart about it and wanted to, you know, bring him into the rotation. So, Golden State would be very healthy. I think they would win probably four championships more in a row if they did that. Okay, but, you know, it remains to be seen. What do you guys think? KD, is he leaving OKC? Is he going to stay? Where do you think he's going to go? Drop it in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate you for watching, and we'll see what unfolds. Take care, guys.